hello you guys welcome back to my channel i really thought we'd be starting this vlog off on a like much more calm and glamorous state but girl i am in shambles right now i'm in complete freaking shambles the day is currently december 5th i leave to nigeria tomorrow december 6th in exactly 24 hours and as of right now my suitcase is not packed I still have to go shopping. <laughs> I thought I had all the time in the world, y'all. This ticket been booked since June. So I knew this trip was coming up. However, things still crept up on me. I had a lot of work to do. I had a lot of things to take care of. So yeah, because of that, I've been losing sleep. I've been going to sleep at like 5 a.m. every day. Today, I didn't even go to sleep. Actually, I did go to sleep. I went to sleep at 7 and I woke up at like 9.30. So I'm running off of like two hours of sleep right now. And unfortunately, there is nothing glamorous about these next couple of hours. But I feel like what makes this a lot easier is that a lot of my maintenance, and this was something I clocked last year because I mistakenly did it, but a lot of my maintenance, I'm gonna do that in Nigeria. The only thing that's like easing my mind a little bit is the fact that I don't have any appointments to go to. I don't have to hey boo anybody i don't have to check in with anybody i don't have to send my deposit and make sure that i'm going to my appointments on time because getting services here is absolute trash nigeria does beauty maintenance beauty routine like no other like i feel like especially as a black girl do your hair your nails even take care of your natural hair your pedicure do everything in nigeria even down to the wax do everything in nigeria because not only is it cost effective but you get a better service like after doing a lot of the stuff that i did in nigeria last year beauty routine or beauty maintenance in the states just hasn't been the same like i loved every single set that i got last year i even loved my lashes this year i don't know if i plan on doing lashes but i definitely plan on getting my nails done right now i have press-ons so it's very easy for them to just like pop these off and put my new nails on i think we're going long yeah we're gonna have fun with the nails with the with the beauty routine so i'm not even worried about maintenance before going to nigeria i'm just making sure i have things to look cute in things to do my hair um, all of my necessities, my beauty products, my skincare products, my perfumes, wigs. Just make sure that I cater to all of the products that I need. When I get two of certain items that I know that I use consistently, especially because you're going to be going out a lot um, or we're going to be going out a lot. So I want to make sure like the things that I'm using on a consistent, like heavy, consistent basis, I get two of because I'm not running out. I don't want that. Last year, it almost embarrassed me. Like I ran out of lace glue. I had to go to the markets to buy lace glue. Do you know how difficult that was? Besides the point, today we're just making sure we're good. And then I did something that's really, 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 really gonna set me back. Um, I don't even wanna say right now. I'm just gonna wait for you guys to see what I have to put myself through just because of one silly mistake. <sighs> it's really overwhelming because that's gonna take out like another three hours out of my day and I could have been using that time to re-record this video that I want to re-record because I didn't really like the first one but it is what it is let me get going because girl I said we're not doing glimmers today okay I need to start going I need to get the things that I need I don't really need to go with anything other than um my wallet my list i have a picture of my list list of things that i need to get the different stores that i need to go to i need to eat i have not eaten today it's 4 30 and i have a very long sleepless night ahead of me so we have some stuff to do girl and yeah aren't you the luckiest girl in the world for getting to experience this with me <laughs> one thing that has given me peace of mind right now is the fact that I know exactly what I need to buy. I know exactly what I have, what I don't have. And that is just perks of being a very organized, very well-balanced Virgo babe. And I'm able to keep organized because I made an entire Notion page dedicated to Nigeria. I made this last year actually, and I decided to just like tweak it up this year to make it really pretty and stuff. But I go hard for Notion. Notion has just really been keeping me in check and yeah, I'm able to like jot down everything that I need, make sure that I am not behind on anything, make sure that my lists have lists, like everything here, especially for my Nigeria trip, is to the T. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So this is my Notion page for Nigeria. 
I have a notion page for other things, but this one is Nigeria specifically. So as you can see, the Nigeria agenda, I'm, I actually decided to make it a template because I wanted to make it available for other people. I feel like even though by the time you guys see this, it might be a little late to like get your hands on it and like actually make it useful, but you can always use this for the future. You can use this for any other trip. Yeah, I basically just have my trip broken down and everything girl has a place we got the map over here i have some music to make me feel you know make me feel in the in the mood on this side here i have the main menu and it's basically just the entire page broken down but if you scroll further down you have send me the location this part i basically just made it because i wanted a list of the restaurants um so i have like my quick bites i have my brunch i have my dinner i have my cafe now my own personal sheet has a lot more than this but this is just a template this is what the template looks like i have a list of beauty salons i don't have the full list but yeah you can add some stuff however you see fit um i have the same thing for boutiques night scenes a sight to see those are just like daytime activities and then scroll further down you have upkeep so these are things that you'd probably want to do before you leave so we have like travel requirements we have book your lash appointments book your hair appointments finish shopping down here this is all shopping babe so we have necessities things that you need to purchase before you leave anti-itch cream liquid fashion tape and just add a new item by clicking new item and then we have wigs, we have clothing, um, and then, and like I said, my list have lists within them. So inside of the wardrobe, I have basically things that I bought. These are things I bought last year, but I just broke them down into sections so that I know exactly what it is that I bought, what I need to buy more of, that type of thing. Um, we have content essentials, giveaway stuff if you want to get some goodies for people. We have content planning. We have the bucket list. We have content inspo, um, and then your calendar. And your calendar can literally say whatever it is you want it to say. You can add stuff to the calendar. You can take things away from the calendar. Um, I even have a... So this is your mood board for whatever hairstyle you want. So yeah, my Notions page has everything that I could possibly need and more. I'm gonna leave this down below for you guys. We're not even gonna get too much into it. But that being said, we're about to head out. Um, I know my room is a hot mess right now, but this is where I'm wearing out. I'm headed to Zara first, so I wanted to wear something all skin tight so I could just throw some stuff over me. Um, I'm just wear some shoes. And then we're gonna pack our stuff later whenever I get back and yeah, we're gonna get going. <sighs> the traffic is not on my side today. A drive that would typically take me like 20 minutes just took me an hour. Up like a lullaby, she love the way I talk. She don't think that my tongue could lie. She open like a coop to show me where her heart resides. Knocking down walls, eat her up to make her whole. She arching like it's over, got me. I'ma make her fall. She stare me in the eye with a smile that she bought. Hi, can I please order for pickup? Can I please do a chicken and shrimp plate? And I see it with chicken like, yeah, I see it with like zucchini and stuff. Can I get that as well with the rice? Yeah, the vegetables. Yeah, come with the vegetables. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll do that, please. Yeah. <sighs> Is it crazy that I'm really supposed to be like 
finishing on my shopping and focusing on my packing but instead I'm focused on food like I'm hungry so I decided to get this one food that this one guy on YouTube talked about he's actually from the UK I'm pretty sure y'all know him he's from the UK and I think he moved to Houston so he was talking about a spot that he went to in Houston or like a spot that he really likes so I was like you know what sometimes it's the foreigners that try like new stuff that really end up finding the good spots so I decided to come try it it's called master hibachi and it's a food truck actually so I called in my order and we all see what the food is hitting for and it better hit cuz I'm starving I'm hungry I am NOT looking forward to the drive that I'm about to make so long story short very long story short I was ordering something and I typically order from there so it's an account that I've been ordering stuff from for like a while and turns out in the midst of like making a really quick order because I was rushing I ended up not changing the old address so it got sent to my old address and if any of you guys are familiar my old address just so happens to be in San Antonio San Antonio is three hours away from Houston because I leave tomorrow so <laughs> The solution has to be quick so it's either between finding someone to like pick it up for me and then pay for like an extra luggage for them and then they pack my stuff and they bring it with them because I know some people who are going to Nigeria as well. It was either that or make the drive myself but thank God for Naomi. Thank you Jesus. She happened to be able to pick up my package and the babe is also willing to meet me halfway. Do you know what that means? Like I'm only going to be driving half of the way so technically if I drove the entire way it would have been three hours going in three hours coming but I'm only doing an hour and a half and then an hour and a half coming back and it's eight o'clock so this is definitely gonna take me like into the night I'm probably not gonna be home until about 11 or 12 for some reason I still feel like I can hit Target tonight so we'll see because I used to think Target closed at 11 but they closed at 12 so I might still be able to hit everything but first I need to eat okay I need to take care of my stomach I've not eaten today I haven't been eating well in the last like two weeks I would say say like my days these past couple of weeks have just been so choppy so left and right so yeah I need to eat well but I know that once I go to Nigeria we're going to be indulging however I don't want to eat too much because last time that I went to Nigeria I gained seven pounds coming back I did not look the same coming back and I still haven't lost the weight from that so I did a whole lot of talking just to let you guys know that we're about to make a three-hour drive oh y'all I am starving Nay is about to be on her way so I actually have to eat quickly oh my god how can I show you guys this well this is what the oh this is what the food looks like i'm gonna so good yes thank you jesus my mouth is literally salivating i'm gonna try the shrimp first period mm. it's a little salty some of the veggies mm. you know when the food is so good get your ears start to itching chicken it's a little salty mm. broccoli can't mess up broccoli. Carrots. I'm gonna try everything together. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I you want to sleep after this. It comes with this sauce. She called it the yum yum sauce. Whatever that means. It didn't taste like anything. I'm gonna mix it up though. Oh, this really just turned into a whole mukbang. My mouth is watering, bro. What's going on? I know my editor's watching this like, what this girl going on? I just realized something very irrelevant too, but it's something about slurping your food that makes it taste better. Am I weird? Like the Asians knew what they were doing with the mukbangs. <sighs> okay. Me quickly and then hit the road and see if we can make it to Target. Mm, Y'all in my business. Toodles. Look who's joining me. <laughs> Girl, I got some um hibachi food. I'm about to get gas real quick. I, I got some hibachi food. It's real, real good. Are you feeling better though? Yeah, it's just the congestion, honestly. The past type thing. Yeah, Pete. No, this camera's heavy. I vlog. I don't know what to say. Like, I'm a little camera shy. <laughs> My name's Chelsea. Um, I am Lex's little sister. I'm just keeping y'all company while she's doing her thing. I also have a lot of congestion going on. Pay no mind to how my voice sounds. I usually don't sound like this. I sound a lot smoother, a lot sexier. But yeah, I am Lex's little sister. 
sister and I follow her around everywhere whenever she needs it because I'm just that good of a sister. Best sister of the year award goes to me. What are you talking know. about? Talking about everything. I don't know what to tell them. I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> so much have a good night we finally made it back from picking up the packages I want to say it's 1 a.m. I like 12 something for sure. And yeah, we still have a lot to do. I'm not even gonna mope. <sighs> I got some Red Bull. I could have gotten Celsius or C4 or something, but they make me shake. So I'm gonna take some of this because I'm already knowing tonight is gonna be another all-nighter. I didn't get to go to Target. Target opens at seven, so we're gonna go there at seven. But I've probably had like seven of these in the last like two weeks. <sighs> Your girl is so tired. It's so funny because one thing about me, like, when I really set my mind to something, best believe I'm gonna do it for real. That's why, like, driving down to pick up a package, that was nothing to me. Like, if I want it, I'm gonna do it. So that being said, I have another very delusional goal for tonight, and that's to record an entire video. So I need to pack and record the video all before 7 o'clock. So I have 7 hours to do so. Logically speaking, it doesn't make sense, but I'm gonna do it. We'll see how the night goes. In the meantime, I came home to all of those beautiful packages. Most of them are from Amazon. But first, let me show you guys some of the things that I got from Sephora. Because I think I had some really good pickups from Sephora today. Actually, I'm going to knock the Zara ones out of the way first. First thing I got was this dress. Um, I really love like the ruching. But one thing about Zara right now, they're all selling New Year's um, attire. Everything is black and silver. But I really did like this one. So what I really wanted to Zara for were some bottoms. Um, I wanted some skirts, I wanted some pants, because I feel like I've bought so many tops and I don't really have bottoms to pair them up with. Oh my god, speaking of, I forgot two things that I was supposed to buy at Zara. There were a pair of leather pants that I was supposed to pick up. And then a handbag as well that I really liked that I didn't pick up. Whatever. Anyways, I did get this skirt though. She's cute. This was my favorite purchase another purchase that i don't know how it fits because i tried on the size six and it was a bit too tight in like the bum and hip area so i went up to an eight but i didn't try the eight on because i had to go so if i need to get it tailored which i know i will especially around the waist then i will get it tailored in nigeria but i really just loved these pants yeah i could just see it with a nice pair of heels and a cute top also got some fragrances i feel like a lot of people are sleeping on zara fragrances but specifically Zara men fragrances. If you guys watch a lot of my Zara videos, I always talk about how I love like their musky, their warm, their woody scents. And for the first time, I was like, let me go into the men's section and see what I like because men's fragrances already kind of fit like the type of scent family that I like. So I got this Oud vibrant leather. This one's actually not for me, it's a gift. So I'm not gonna open that up. This one is also a gift, so I'm not gonna open this up, even though it's pretty crushed for her she smells really good but this is the one that i picked up for myself it's called spell caramel and it's finally the one almost like gourmandy scent that i fully fell in love with i'm not gonna lie it reminds me of magnificently dubai now that i spray it let me see can't lie it low-key smells like one of my favorite zara perfumes and maybe that's why i liked it so much but it has like a warmer more inviting scent to it i don't know how to explain it because i'm not the best with describing scents but i don't know i'm debating now if i want to keep it or return it because they're almost too similar it doesn't make sense to have both of them 
That said, from Sephora, we have some goodies as well. First thing I got was Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I finally got the big jar. I always thought this was cute, but like, logically, I'm not gonna keep this. Um, I think they should have made something that was inside of the case. I'm gonna go ahead and use this because I definitely need it. Next thing I got, and I got this because the girlies have been talking about it. The girlies really have been talking about this Estee Lauder foundation. I decided to get it in 7W1. I think it was a closer match to my shade. It was a little warmer than I would like to go for, but it's not bad at all. I'm excited to see the wear of this. And hopefully it doesn't make me get too oily because that's one thing that I don't like about foundations. Next thing I got is this Kodali Mask Instant Detox. I just wanted something for the beauty routine while I'm over in Nige. Smells a little medicinal. I actually saw this on Uche Notori's story. I was looking for a mask, so I said, why the heck not? Next thing I got was this Topicals eye masks. And do I think this would actually do anything for me? Probably not, but it's cute and it serves a cute little aesthetic. So I said, why the heck not? I, I picked it up because I'm not gonna lie. I saw the girlies using it. So I got the Danessa Myricks um, blush in Golden Hour. This is my first Danessa Myricks product. I really wanted to get the foundation bomb that everyone that everyone's been using but i personally did not find a shade that i thought would be flattering on me so i just kind of left it alone um i didn't want to force it just because you know i saw other people using it next thing i got from sephora is just a re-up of my nars soft matte concealer this is the concealer that i use underneath my brows next thing i got from sephora i never thought i'd be buying sephora lashes because girl first of all 30 dollars for lashes you got me messed up these are the lashes that i'm wearing right now and and this happened on accident so Courtney actually picked them up when we were doing our beauty challenge and I, I ended up really loving it this is like already my third time maybe wearing it so I decided to get a second pair just in case like I lose this or something happens to it at least while I'm in Nigeria I can have a pair of lashes that are suitable for like everyday use now the next thing I got do I need it probably not but am I gonna try it anyways absolutely I got the instant firm eye cream and this is that eye tightener that everybody's been seeing like a lot of like the older women using especially ones with like under eye bags and stuff like that and now my case might not be as extreme as theirs but I do have under eye bags and I feel like they are very very visible especially when I wear concealer and for some reason this inner part right here it just does not look the same and never fully blends out with the rest of my skin because it is so hollow here so I thought maybe trying this and mixing this with my concealer or putting it right underneath my concealer maybe it would just give my under eye a more even look you know what I mean so I'm gonna try it out and see if I like it if I don't like it then you know it's whatever but I've been meaning to try this for so long so we'll see how that goes and those are the things that I picked up today tomorrow we do have to go to Target and Ulta going to Target and Ulta on the day of my flight is actually insane behavior but again if I want it done I'm gonna do it so yeah let's let's talk about the ones that I got from Amazon on the things that I got from Amazon first up I think it got delivered a couple of days ago and I don't know if it's TikTok that made me buy this but it is like this airport pillow and it's basically the pillows that you put in front of you and you can put your hand inside and like put your face down onto and I thought I needed it because I always do this thing where I put the tray down and then I put my head over and by the time I wake up like my neck is hurting my back is hurting and it's just really uncomfortable so I thought maybe just getting this pillow can help like release a lot of that tension that occurs whenever I do that on a plane but I shouldn't even be putting this on my bed but thankfully I'm about to wash my sheets First thing up is this wireless microphone. So I got this specifically because I always see a lot of people in Nigeria using a wireless microphone whenever they're talking to like their vlogs and stuff. And I have summed it up to the fact that Nigeria just has a lot of noise pollution. I remember last time when I was there, every time I like recorded something, you could always hear like the cars, the honking, just a lot of noise. So I thought, why would I now go and do something different from what everyone else is doing? So I got this, I'm gonna try it, see if I like it. Like it. The next thing in here are a pair of leggings. These are just basic leggings. One is brown, almost skin tone. That's so pretty. And the other is black. 
Next thing I got is another of my lights. So I already have one of these, but I only have one. So I kind of wanted two because I don't plan on taking my bigger lights. It's way too heavy to be carrying around. So I decided to get my smaller one. And this one is much lighter. I carried it with me when I went to Tulum. And yeah, I really liked it. So I decided to get a second one so that at least I can like double up and have even lighting whenever I decide to use them. That's gonna come in really clutch. This next one is actually packing cubes. Um, I already have packing cubes, but I felt like I needed more because for some reason my packing cubes have been disappearing. So I was like, let me just get another set and be able to utilize it. I'd rather have too much than too little. So yeah, I just got this matching packing cube set. It comes with, I believe six or eight packing cubes. They're all various sizes. I got a very neutral color and it comes with a laundry bag as well and it's a lot more sturdy than the one that I have currently. They have a size like this, a bigger size. I guess this could be like a toiletry bag, another toiletry bag. Oh and then I can use this obviously. So what next is in here? This one's basically just a car mount. It's honestly a little too late because I wanted to use it earlier today and I don't plan on using it in Nigeria so I'm just going to keep this. This however I'm really confused because it's very heavy. So I feel like it's a tripod and I'm hoping it's not the tripod that's this heavy. I got it for the light because the light would need something to stand up on. Dang, it's so heavy though. My other one is not this heavy and I thought I, I was I thought I was buying the exact same one. This one is so heavy. Anyways, it also comes with a little like phone mount, which is cute. On to the last one. I got a, another hot comb. I actually bought two. My actual one is downstairs, but this one's a gift for somebody. So, and it's heavy. Oh, oh my God. My bag is about to be so heavy. It doesn't even make sense right now. The last thing that's in here though is a jewelry case, like a jewelry holder. I really didn't think it would be this big, but I think I did pick large. So I really like this one, especially because it just had so many more components. It has like all of these earring pieces where you can insert your earrings. It has these little tubes for your rings. It has here, you could put probably necklaces. It has so many pockets. This is just so clutch. So yeah, I felt like this was a lot more convenient than the one that I have. I feel like my original jewelry case like for traveling, it's just so small. It's literally this small and I'm not able to like fit things or if I do fit things, I have to like squeeze them in. And by the time I take it out, it's already like very scrunched up. So I just thought it pretty much defeated the purpose of a jewelry case. So I got something that was a bit more proactive and I love this. And the size is not that bad. It is officially 15 hours before my flight and I'm about to begin packing. Thankfully all of my orders are in, all of my deliveries made it. So I'm about to start packing, see how far I get and we'll just see. We'll have to see where the wind blows. It's 10.30 right now, so I have to be as diligent as possible so that I can make it out of the house at 1.30. So yeah, I'm here at Target. I'm gonna get my hygiene stuff. I pretty much already packed up most of the things that I need to pack up. The only things that I'm waiting on are hygiene products, especially because my layover is overnight. So I wanna make sure that I have some stuff for like an overnight stay. And then we're gonna stop at the beauty supply in Ulta as well. I am I really don't know if I can make all of this happen in an hour and 30 minutes, but fingers crossed that we do. My aunt wants me to get some matching PJs for the house. I'm trying to decide which one gives a little bit more festive so it's either between this and this or this and these pants I feel like aesthetics wise and like looks wise this looks better but this gives more festive because you have like the North Pole and the Christmas tree so I mentioned earlier that I have to start shaving again so I need to get some shaving stick I need to get a shaving stick or one that I trust and Funny enough, in my last like prep vlog for Nigeria, I mentioned that I tried the Billy shaving stick and I really loved it, but they didn't have it in store and I, I wasn't about to order it. But they now sell Billy in store. 
and I'm not sure if it's in every store, but it's definitely at this Target. And yeah, I'm so hyped because I don't know what it is about the technology that they use in this thing, but it glides so well. And it's something about the way it like glides on the skin that it's able to catch so much of the hair. Like, like it takes a while for me to start like feeling the hair is like coming back in. And then when the hair is growing back out, like it's not like that prickly hair. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, I also use their, um, their shaving cream, but I'm gonna leave this. I don't really need shaving cream because I have some already. They also have the refills for it, which is good. I'm getting their Malibu one. So I'm actually gonna switch this out for the blue one and get the blue travel case as well. I believe that's everything I need. I got my sponge, I got my flossers, I got my shaving stick, I got the Christmas PJs. I think that's all I need from Target if I'm not mistaken. I got my travel size toothpaste, I got my travel size deodorant. I already have that at home. I have travel size soap. Oh, I need to see if they have any perfume holders, so like the big ones, because I really hate putting my perfume inside of those really mini ones. It is officially crunch time. It is 12 o'clock. I still have to go to the beauty supply. Oh my God. I just stopped at Ulta. I got a few things. Even though I shouldn't be doing this right now because I don't have the time, but I'm gonna show you guys quickly what I got. Super Fix, Makeup Revolution, Fixing Spray, Elf, Hydro Grip, Juvie's Place concealer because i'm running out these are all things i'm running out of by the way like i already have them i just need replacements of them or i know it's going to finish in nigeria i got juvie's place concealer number nine this is the one that i use under my eyes but then i decided to get a darker one because i really like the consistency of this concealer and i want to try it for contour lastly my brow pen this is the milani brow pen in dark brown is it dark brown that's all i got we're headed to the beauty supply and then we're going to the airport if you guys have watched any of my install videos i'm definitely working with this grabbing one of these so i use these together depending on how i'm feeling and last thing on the menu grabbing my lashes of course i'm gonna take like three of these none of these are really as fluffy as i like them i always try to look for the very like very fluffy ones like you guys they sell these in clusters now oh my god oh, and they're also fluffy